It's been a long time since I tried Project Elixir on my device. So we have the latest version, Project Elixir version 3.7 based on Android 13. And the Project Elixir version is 3.7. And as expectedly, it is having the latest security patch while making this video. This is April 2023. A lot of customers are bringing you this feature, this latest security patch. And this custom room also brings you that. It's been a long time since I tried. So let's take a look at the default things as quickly as possible. The launcher settings it's not the pixel launcher one of the major things to keep in mind it's not the pixel launcher and almost same like launcher three quick step launcher whatever you want to talk about it's almost same features are almost same only the major difference is the ui the ui is actually changed features are same it's available in almost every customer right now if you are not using pixel launcher but only few of the things here and then some features might not be there some features might be there but the ui which is card style ui is one of the main highlights of using this and card style ui is actually implemented almost everywhere in this custom room like in the default launcher you just noticed same with the settings ui the settings ui according to me looks quite 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 good and of course you can customize that that's one of the main highlights you can customize that i mean you can simply change you can revert it to the stock looking so if you are not satisfied with this card style ui you can simply change that to the stock one also, if you move on to the security options, one thing keep in mind, it includes face lock, it includes pin lock or etc, etc, whatever you want to talk about, fingerprint, etc, but it does not include the app locker. So if you are one of the users who use app lock on their devices as on a daily basis, app locker is not included here. So keep this thing in your mind or you can use any other customer if app lock is a necessity for you. Or you can change the launcher, of course. We have customizations options and uh, theming related customizations lock screen status bar quick settings also has some of the customizations we will talk about that later on and some gestures customizations and miscellaneous if i move on to the miscellaneous options expectedly we have the ignore window secure flags and in call vibration options in call vibration options plays an important role according to me i always use this feature and also it's already included here and it looks amazing actually if you also have some game space related customizations and the game space is not the stock one of course it's it's almost same like other customers right now you can see how the game space UI is looking like. We have the information related to battery, date, day, time, and we also have memory related things, which is one of the main things, of course, to consider. And other options are just basically same. Like other customers are also bringing you this kind of game space, so nothing unique. Keep this thing in your mind. If you move on to quick settings customizations, you have the option to customize the quick setting tiles style. We have four styles options available. You can see we have these kind of styles options available. This style is kind of same like if you if you have used aosp mode same kind of style but if you enable this outline style it looks actually same like fluid os if you have used fluid os custom room you already got to know and it has last but not the least rectangular style so these three styles are available and if you include the stock one there are four total styles options available for your quick settings so it's totally up to you if you want to customize the quick settings or not brightness slider is also having two styles so yes it's optional we also have the option related to settings UI as I just mentioned at the starting of the video. If you're not satisfied with the card style UI in settings, you can revert back it to the stock one. This is how the UI is looking like. So if you like this one, choose this one. Or if you like that card style UI, according to me, I always use that. It looks amazing compared to some other custom rooms. So that's why I use that. But other options, expectedly some custom themes options where you have pure black theme, espresso, paint in the snow, same theming options, kind of in every xos2 some fonts related customizations one font which actually i was looking for is missing from here which is product sense and um, yes i will suggest the developers to add that because that looks amazing that is a very minimal looking font even i'm using other customer right now and i'm using those fonts looks amazing of course it's just my own preference icon pack related options pavlova ui archers oxygen os almost same kind of options are available here and there so these are the major things or things are available in project elixir latest version if you want to try out this custom and if it is available officially for your device link for that one is available in the description make sure to check out that and if you like this video don't forget to like and share this also if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and i will see you the next one until then goodbye